Uh, mm-hmm. I've, I've noticed in the comments that a lot of people who watch travel videos might be thinking of doing that themselves. There's a lot of travelers who, you know, might be picking up a little camera or cell phone for the first time and yeah. thinking like, I want to go on that journey. Is there any, any, any words that you'd offer to someone in that position? Oh man, that's tough. Um, I don't know. I didn't, I didn't think of a I, good, I, <laughs> think you, I thought you would definitely say, just do it. Like YouTube mm. is one of the only things that you can do for free. You don't mm. need equipment. You don't need a microphone. You don't even need a camera. Everyone, pretty much everyone has a cell phone. You can get, we filmed for a long time on like a, a really bad point and shoot, a, a really, really bad. bad point and shoot that like didn't even close <laughs> anymore for a long, long time. It mm-hmm. had, a, it had a scratch on this, on the lens. And I remember everyone tell us, clean your lens, clean your lens. And I would always say, it's a scratch, it's a scratch. <laughs> so I would say, just do it. Like, I think, I think YouTube is an area where people, because there are such great, the quality of YouTube videos are so great. I think there's almost that is the barrier to entry is fear of just trying and putting out, putting out content um, that's not going to be perfect. I think, I don't know, I thought that's what you would say. Yeah, (laughs) and earlier you asked about like kind of our influences or people we're watching. I think probably one thing people make the mistake of doing on YouTube whenever starting out and we did it ourselves is trying to copy what other people are doing or like whether it be the editing, the shots, the way you talk, there's always going to be an influence. If you're watching YouTube or even, even movies, it's good to be influenced and to learn. Uh, But I think a lot of people feel like they need to make a Peter McKinnon blog or, you know, a J.R. Ali blog or, or just, you know, any of these, it doesn't have to be crazy cinematic. You don't need to draw, just need to be yourself show just just be yourself and and i mean i hesitate to i hesitate to say to do daily because mentally it's not really that good for you Uh, but apart from tricking the youtube algorithm what daily helped us what it helped me was just becoming a better editor a better editor better filmer getting better on youtube and so really like the first 600 videos of ours I look at is like those don't even count like that was just all practice like yeah. now I can go to work because I have the practice from all those videos that unfortunately people watch <laughs> um, yeah like Billy really said not being afraid to just yeah just get out there and try something and and, and don't let perfection get in the way of yeah. hitting publish that's that's such important advice and I, I think it's something I can relate to it's probably something every creator can relate to I mean, even now as I'm doing this podcast, like I don't really know what I'm doing. I don't have a podcast yeah. studio or anything like that. So yeah. if I looked at my favorite podcast and I saw their setup, I'd be like, well, I guess I'm not a podcaster because I need this mic and, and this background and this, you know, exactly. all these things that you don't have. But if you focus on the things you do have, like, you know, just the phone in your pocket, right. you can actually make some pretty cool stuff. Right. I actually like your background. I was noticing the plants earlier. And way back in the distance, I can see a plaque that I recognize. <laughs> oh, the, the, yeah. The, so I keep it every so often. The 100K. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You guys have your plaque too? Yeah. yeah it's we, travel with. we don't have a good spot for it. Yeah. And of course, like we want to, we love a, stu- a quote unquote studio space or like a cool spot to always film. But it's just, if you're traveling, it's not really practical yeah. and, so the kitchen yeah. is, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Travel life's a bit, uh, yeah. Hard to build a podcast studio like every place you travel to. <laughs> yeah. Going back to what you said, Greg, and and also Hillary about just 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 do it, just do it with what you can. I feel like YouTube has become so tech focused. Like there's so many tech channels out there. Every time a new camera comes out, there's like a hundred different channels showing you how cool it is and kind of some subconsciously telling you buy this buy this right. that people feel that insecurity like oh i don't have the latest camera so i mm-hmm. i can't make this video yet right but as you as you so so correctly mentioned it's not the camera it's the story it's the it's the person behind the camera that matters exactly yeah and like you said just your story and sometimes that's something we have to remind ourselves of like our daily life to us isn't interesting you know it's just our daily life we 
it's a little weird now because of COVID obviously, but we go to the gym or maybe we go to the beach or maybe we don't do anything or like we order groceries from La Comer on online. But then sometimes after I remind myself that like for most people watching what we do here in Mexico, even if it's nothing, even if we sat at home all day is really unique and different. Yeah. from other people's lives and really whether you've moved countries or not like your your story your life is interesting in a way to some to some yeah. people there's bigger and smaller niches as well but i think it's just that's the fun of, of making videos right is finding a creative way to to share whatever it is your story or your message is 